The Golden Age of Hollywood Hollywood's most profitable era peaked during the 1930s thanks mainly to the studio system that exploited actors with long-term contracts. Motion Picture Production Code The Motion Picture Production Code was the set of industry moral guidelines that was applied to most American motion pictures released by major studios from 1930 to 1968. Social Realism Social realism is the term used for creative works that aim to draw attention to the real socio-political conditions of the working class. Art Deco Art Deco is a style of visual arts, architecture and design influenced by bold geometric forms and bright colors. 42nd Street One of the most popular musicals during the 1930s. Shirley Temple Shirley Temple was an actress, singer, dancer, businesswoman, and diplomat who was Hollywood's number one box office draw as a child actress from 1935 to 1938. Gone with the Wind Gone with the Wind is a 1939 American epic historical romance film adapted from Margaret Mitchell's 1936 novel of the same name. Having won 10 Academy Awards, it is still the most successful film in box office history. John Steinbeck John Steinbeck is a prominent American author whose 1939 masterpiece, The Grapes of Wrath, provides a poignant description of life during the Great Depression, particularly the Dust Bowl. Henry Miller Henry Miller was a prominent author of the 1930s whose books broke literary norms by being explicit with regards to sex and profanity. Some of his books were banned in the United States. James T. Farrell James T. Farrell is a prominent author of the 1930s who wrote the Stead's Lonegan trilogy. His books focused on themes of poverty, racism and other social ills. Superman Superman first appeared in Action Comics No. 1, a comic book published on April 18, 1938. Batman Batman first appeared in Detective Comics No. 27 in 1939. The Swing Era Swing is a form of popular music developed in the United States. The Don Keebel swing style of big bands and band leaders was the dominant form of American popular music from 1935 to 1946. Jesse Owens James Cleveland Jesse Owens was an American track and field athlete and four-time Olympic gold medalist in the 1936 Berlin Games. He was credited with crushing Hitler's myth of Aryan supremacy. Benny Goodman Benjamin David Goodman was an American jazz clarinetist and band leader known as the King of Swing. He led one of the first integrated jazz groups. Tommy Dorsey Thomas Francis Dorsey Jr. was an American jazz trombonist, composer, conductor and band leader of the big band era. He was known as a sentimental gentleman of swing. Betty Boop Betty Boop is a cartoon jazz flapper created by Max Fleischer in 1930. She remained popular throughout the decade. War of the Worlds Broadcast In 1938, actor Orson Welles performed a radio drama based on H.G. Wells' book about a Martian invasion of Earth. The broadcast allegedly caused public panic among listeners who did not know the invasion was fictional. Mickey Mouse 
the star character of the first color cartoon, 1932, published the Walt Disney Productions. Snow White and the Seven Dwarves Snow White and the Seven Dwarves is a 1937 animated film produced by Walt Disney Productions. It is the earliest Disney animated feature film. The Wizard of Oz Widely considered to be one of the greatest films in cinema history, The Wizard of Oz, starring Judy Garland, is a 1939 film legendary for its use of Technicolor. Bonnie and Clyde Bonnie Parker and Clyde Barrow were a famous pair of robbers whose crime spree killed several civilians and nine policemen. In 1934, they were ambushed and killed by police in Louisiana. The Hindenburg On May 6, 1937, the hydrogen-filled German airship Hindenburg burst into flames during its docking in Lakehurst, New Jersey killing 36 people. Lou Gehrig Louis Gehrig, nicknamed the Iron Horse, was a baseball first baseman who played his entire professional career for the New York Yankees. He was forced to retire in 1939 due to ALS which would later come to be known as Lou Gehrig's disease. Frankenstein Frankenstein is arguably the most iconic horror film in history. Released in 1931 and starring actor Boris Karloff, the movie tells a story of scientist who creates a man from parts of various corpses and brings him to life. Works Progress Administration Employed out-of-work artists in addition to a range of other people as part of the New Deal, 